first ever episode of Eulogist Reviews. Finally! Today, I'm going to review two bands, Common Choir and Dead Lakes. Then, I'll be moving on to some local and national music-related news. And finally, I'll be talking about my top three artists I've been listening to since the beginning of 2018. So, let's get started. Now, I've already reviewed Common Choir on my website. <coughs> But this Minnesota band deserves another shout out. They've got two new singles out, Lower Road Tone and Roman Hands, both very intense driving metalcore songs that you can bob your head to in any situation. So basically, Lower Road Tone kind of transports you back to when metalcore had only screaming instead of choruses with clean vocals. It's pretty much a breath of fresh air. It has a slightly genty feel to it, but when that chorus hits, you get gut-punching chords, dissonant leads, and screams that'll put your speakers out of business. In my metalcore category, I'm going to have to give this band a 4.5 out of 5. Let's listen to a short clip of the song. On the list we have Dead Lakes, from the other side of the universe, Tacoma, Washington. Last Tuesday they released an absolute post-hardcore banger called The Devil Has Blue Eyes. If you're a fan of Crooks UK, Circa Survive, Lower Definition, Suffer, or Fossil Youth, then this is a band that you need to check out. After a slightly eerie opening, the song explodes through your speakers with slightly distorted guitars, spacey leads, raspy clean vocals that add to the song's intensity, crunchy bass parts, and super complex drum parts to round things out. The best part about this song, I would say, are the early 2000s sounding screams over an intense breakdown, which is followed up with an ominous toned bridge. Genius. In my post-hardcore category, I'm giving this song a 5 out of 5. Sorry not sorry, it's perfect. Let's take a listen to another short clip. Wishing life was It's time for some music related news from around the US. Post hardcore indie band My Epic released a new song this past week called Of Wilderness. The new EP Ultraviolet is due out on March 30th and is the first of a two part EP being released through Face Down Records. Local Florida band v Valor, voila. I'm just gonna say Valor and uh, show you how to spell it. Anyways, they released their debut EP, Trying Times, this past week. I already reviewed this on my site, so make sure to give it a read and listen to this melodic hardcore masterpiece. Fossil Youth also released a music video for Late Night Swim, which is from their album, A Glimpse of Self Joy. You can catch them in a town near you while they're on tour through the US and Canada from now until March 10th. For info and tickets, just go to the following site. Last but not least, my top three albums that I listened to in January of 2018. Number three, Discovery by Sleep for Sleepers. This is an album from 2014 for fans of anything ambient, rock, or pop. Number two, For When You're Falling Backwards by Rome Hero Foxes. This album came out back in 2016. Anyone who is a fan of early from Indian Lakes is probably going to lose it over this album. Finally, the number one album that me and Loggy listened to for all of January 2018, Young and Courageous by Tides of Man. This is another album from 2014 that pretty much changed the meaning of instrumental band. Every song is emotional, epic, and ambient. That's it for this episode. Keep checking back every week for more content. Hit the subscribe button if you like what you saw. And make sure to follow me on Facebook right here and my website, also right here. All right, thanks, I'll see you next week. Does the devil really have blue eyes?